Yo what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Alfie, I'm back once again with another requested video for you guys. Now today's video got requested through Snapchat and this is like the second or third time that a video got requested through Snapchat which is fucking awesome but this video is really fucking helpful in such a way so I'm, I will help at least two guys out uh, and I hope that you guys that are watching, uh, hopefully I ha do help you out in some way. So anyway, this video got requested through Snapchat on, with uh, Jeff requested this video on Snapchat and he basically said, Hey Sharp, can you show me how to put your own safe data online or send it because my friend wants to mod but he's really clueless. I was gonna get him to send his bugs one data to me and I would modify them and then pass it on to him so he can just copy the save game and uh, just have it just copy the save game and that and he's done he's just basically modding the game uh, is it possible yes but for bex one modding you do need a a, a, a a what's it a um modded backup so a modded backup must be installed and there is lots of videos for that on youtube as well as as on my channel so <clears throat> go to my modding playlist, like modding tutorial playlist, and just show him th uh, the, a, one of the videos, including this one. Uh, so basically, there's a video called how to install modded backups or multi backup, whatever. Just watch that video first if you don't know how to install a modded backup. Uh, but show Jeff, show this to your friend, bro. Watch this video to the end because. It's really helpful and it's really straightforward and all you need is just a USB and a PC or laptop and a internet connection obviously. Uh, but watch this video so you know what to do, how to send a um, save game to your friend and how and your friend will be like oh okay so that's the way what I need to do to send and to copy and stuff like that. But so watch this video to the end and let's get straight into this. So as you can see the PS3 is connected, all you gotta do, oh by the way. There you go. Just add. Feel free to add me. The caps aren't necessary, but you can do the caps. It, it, it's it's cool. Nuzi dash fifty eight. That's my PSN, my official PSN. So go ahead and add me. I have PS three, PS four, and PC on Steam. Go ahead, go for it. So all you need to do, really easy. Backups disk is there. Um, what I do recommend is just delete your save data or save game because. Uh, so if you go in here, <clears throat> okay, back is one. But if you have a, if you if your friend or Jeff, if you can't mod his um, save game, then bro, what you need to do. So I'm talking to Jeff's friend. What you need to do is just go here and delete your save. You know what? I'm, I will show that too. So this is the save data, right? I'm just gonna delete it. Just delete it straight up just delete it there you go so you don't have a save game now go here go into black ops 1 and there is a specific thing that you need to do in order to uh, make it moddable uh, which is weird but hey it's just what it is so it is what it is so you can do it um, but I will show you so Really easy, all you gotta do is uh, delete the save data and then launch the game. You can be signed in or offline, doesn't really matter. All you need to do is just, well, you need to be signed in uh, because you need to go online uh, on some port, uh, on some moments, but the first thing uh, what you gotta do is uh, to go in zombies, just solo or private match, doesn't really matter, public, doesn't really matter. And then a private match on multiplayer, so. And that's the thing that you need to go online for. So anyway, easy as is, uh, adjust it the way you like. I don't really give a fuck about this. Uh, okay, you guys can fuck me if you want. Uh, what I always like to do is aim assist disable that please and put that on six. And then where is subtitles, there we go, enable that. So what you need to do, Forget about campaign. Don't go into campaign. You don't need that because uh, zombies is mixed with or connected with campaign single player. So uh, all you need to do is go to solo and then just do just a map. It can be DLCs. It can be whatever you want. Just just a random map. Doesn't really matter. 
<clears throat> so I love Moon. I fucking I really do. So I'm just gonna play Moon for a bit. And what you gotta do is just wait a little bit, like eight to ten seconds, and then just quit. That's all you gotta do. Just quit. So I can uh, press X to skip. Really fucking easy. So all you gotta do, as you can see here, I'm just gonna shoot a little bit. I'm gonna reload. Look at this. I'm just gonna wait here. Come on. Boom. There you go. Okay, and after 10 seconds, just hit start and quit. Just quit the game. Really easy. Alright. And then I'm just gonna wait. Okay, there we go. We can skip this. Now, what you gotta do is go into multiplayer. The best way to do is like play uh, zombies first and then go to multiplayer. That load, go to PlayStation Network. Don't go into local because lots of you guys do local. Sometimes it does work, but most of the times it won't. But here it does because you got the uh, solo or offline thingy for zombies and campaign, right? Now you get the online uh, player profile uh, stuff files that you need and I know that you are in private match but you are online so you do get uh, the online things for zombies as well I know it's weird but it's just connected in such a way so uh, don't need to do anything just a private match go online that's all you gotta do and I tried to explain this earlier like a fucking weeks days and months ago but I I keep telling the same thing go into zombies first just for 8 to 10 seconds and then switch over to private match and multiplayer and everyone, everyone says you can't do private match because you need more than one player well no for zombies yeah but for multiplayer not and he's like oh I don't, I don't understand you I don't understand uh, <laughs> kind of like a Russian accent so I just wait for this time to go away boom let the load, let get the player profile, let it suck up real good. And uh, that's about it pretty much. So 8 to 10 seconds is done. You can end the game here. Fucking easy. Not complicated whatsoever. And uh, it's a draw. Host, and it's good. I, I tried this Russian accent now and I don't know why. So what you gotta do now is just end the game. But I'm on my PS4 controller with the USB. So what I need to do is open the disk shit thingy. Because you're pretty much done. So now that you have everything that you need. Elgato, come on. Um, now you need a USB. And... Huh. I can't find my USB. I told her not to... I don't, I don't know. Where's my USB? Oh my god. Okay, so basically, uh, this is something, to something totally fucking different. I told my girlfriend or fiance not to get rid of my USB. It had some important files into that. So like backups of um, my shotguns for you intros and stuff like that. I told her Please, I know you like to clean up my room because it's a mess lots of times, but don't do it. No, I won't do it. No, okay, 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 okay. Well, where the fuck is my USB now? Where the fuck is my USB? Yeah. Ask him, uh... Uh, the... I had a red USB, red and red. Weet je waar die is? Zwarte USB, hè? Ja, op de tafel. Op de bruine tafel. Always keep a backup of your backup. So. On really rare occasions, I have a 30 gigabytes of USB 3.0 right here, and a SD card somewhere here, and a micro SD card.
So, on a moment like this, you really need the best of the best. You really need the best of the best. So, USB 3.0, 30 gigabytes. Everything I need is in here. Uh, so, once you have, for fuck's sake, finally, your USB, plug it in the, you can do it on left or right, doesn't really matter, but um, on installing the mod or modded uh, save data, whatever, you need to plug it into the right USB port, so which is the one closest to the power button. There you go. And then go to save that utility. <coughs> oh yeah, it can't read uh, a large USB. Fuck me. You really need the best of the best. Like I said, red ish black. A 16 gigabyte of USB. So nothing happened. Okay, you didn't start shit. Take two. So just plug in your USB, right? Why are you not connecting? Maybe I need to format it, okay. Set 32, yeah. Quick format, okay. Format complete. Thank you very much. Eject. Safe to remove. Sometimes you need to format your USB. I will show that as well. Hold on, just wait. Uh, just I will I will I will uh, teach that in this video, but then later. So uh, once you have your PS, uh, I mean your USB connected to the PS3, finally for fuck's sake, what you gotta do is go to Save Data Utility PS3, right? And you will have your save game and play profile of Black Ops One. Press triangle. Copy now. If you have PlayStation Plus, you can copy it to online storage. Don't do it just yet. Uh, I, if you really want to, uh, I do suggest or recommend uh, to um, upload your modded uh, save game to the online storage. But for now, I'm just gonna do USB. Get your USB with the legit Black Ops One save data, and plug it into your laptop or PS uh, PC. So. Switching to the desktop now. Okay, now we're at the desktop. I just plugged in my second monitor, which is 720 pixels, but I'm recording at 1080p 60fps. Uh, so it will be... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like low graffiti, low graphics kind of thing, a pixelated kind of... Uh, but doesn't really matter. You can still see everything crispy clear. Uh, so what you need to do is plug your USB all right, to the PC. Like that, and that's my phone. And my fiance says that she has a surprise for me. Ooh. So what you need to do is plug your USB, and you will have this, right? You will have a PSV folder, all in caps, a save data folder, and then your blast or blast, uh, just your save game that you just copied. So because I'm in Europe. It says bless but if you are in UK or whatever it will say bless um, so and then you have the files right? you can modify that one doesn't really matter so what you need is a program oh wait I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how I'm not gonna show you how to mod it but basically you need to program red eye save game uh, editor and then just um, modify uh, SP MP and CM so there you go. Uh, but however, that's a that video is like a tutorial for uh, modding and stuff is on my playlist mod tutorials. But I'm not gonna show you anything in this video. For some reason, your USB or your PS3 can't read your USB. There's a quick, just like uh, what happened to me like a, a couple minutes ago. What you gotta do is scroll down to till you find your USB which is right here USB drive F right click and it says here format you can format but depending on your USB and file size most no not 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 your type of USB but the file size of the of the or the gigabytes how 
how big your USB is. Depending on that, uh, you may or you may not need a program. So if you have a USB gigabyte uh, from zero up to 16, 20 ish, then you're good to go. However, if you have more than 32 gigabytes, most of the times you're, you do need a, 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 a program. Uh, however, because this is 16 gigabytes, what you can do is just click on here on format. It will bring up this menu. It says 40.5 uh, gigabytes. Okay, that's not 16, but okay. And then hit here FAT32 default. Now you can do whatever you want, but go for FAT32. Otherwise, your PS3 won't read it. And then 16 kilobytes. Yeah, that's cool. You can lower, I think. Oh, no. Just don't fuck with that. And then... Uh, quick format and then you do start but you will lose everything in that so make a backup of whatever you have so that's the thing that I did and then it worked so now you have the you have everything you need all right everything is modded right why is everything so big <laughs> that's what she said so what you gotta do is you need WinRAR or 7-zip so uh, most PCs or laptops does has 7-zip uh, seven if you don't have WinRAR, um, I do recommend for you. So, uh, download link will be in the description box below if I don't forget. What you gotta do is new WinRAR zip archive. Or you can do WinRAR, but I recommend you to do a WinRAR and zip, 7-zip archive. So, that's basically if you want to send this and the person that tries to download it doesn't have WinRAR, it still can use 7-zip, uh, which is the basic program uh, which, which is installed uh, on your laptop or PC whenever you buy it so what you can do is go into your USB the root of your USB which is just when you click on USB that's it get this and drag it into here boom that's all you need to do so now it's ready to up be uploaded to the Ethernet or stuff ah okay so if you have a media fire, you can just go ahead and upload from computer, loading the uploader, and then just uh, click here, and then on your desktop, look for my name is Jeff. You see there, my name is Jeff, open, and you do, can do begin upload. However, you can also go to mega, what's this? Uh, you can go to Mega Weird is it, is it Cloud Drive? Yeah, oh there we go, okay So um, I do recommend this site So if you go to here And then uh, you can do Folder Upload or or file upload to just do file upload go to my name is Jeff now here's a thing that's really important simple future hints thank you uh, my name is Jeff right uh, if you if you want to uh, get the um, if you want to share a mega link what you gotta do right here right click these three buttons and then there should be a share oh get link now if you you will see here a description key or link without key make sure you share the um, link with the key otherwise if I go to let's say if I link this one in the video right you guys will copy this if you go here it says, hey, bro, you need a description key. But if you do link with key, copy that, boom, and boom, you can download it. That's that's how uh, fucking easy it is. Now, there is another program, uh, Save Game Resigner. So I will link this mod modded thingy in the description box below. That's a mod menu that I created or modded binds, whatever. Once you have the um, file or the link, everything ready all you need to do now is just send the link so you can do that through hotmail gmail whatever so i can do like this get the new uh, i can send it to sharp gamers for you at gmail 
uh, that one is, uh, you know, for business and stuff. And then you can do here, uh, suck my cocky, cocky. And then, boom, send it, you're done. That's how easy it is. Now, do I have something? Okay, nothing private, good. Uh, but that's basically, and, and there you go. I get a, uh, you can see it. Anyway, I, I get the uh, message, so that's basically how you share and then you just plug it into the right port and then just copy it over to your uh, thingy. So that's how easy it is. It's fucking straightforward. Hopefully I did help you out. If it's too complicated and you're still like, I don't know what to do. Can you just show me how to send and stuff? Bro, I really explained everything you need to know. But if you're like, yeah, I, I just want to know this and this. Contact me and I will make a quick little video for you guys. But this is basically how you... Uh, so this, this is not just how to send your friend a uh, save game or whatever. This is like what you need to do to uh, make your save game moddable, if that's a word. Oh. Do all of those steps. I guarantee you no fails, no whatever. You will succeed into modding and you will have fun. Just follow the steps that I did and you're good to go. All right? It's like five or three minutes work. That That's it. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you fucking for requesting this video. Thank you, Jeff. It was really good. It was really helpful. And I really do hope that I helped you out, bro. There was like a weird distortion going on in my throat. So, uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. If there's anything else you want to uh, say, request or whatever, comment down below and I will get to it. Thank you for watching. There are lots of videos coming up real soon. Like, there are modded requests and there's like a... Um, new series coming up i'm not gonna spoil anything that much but guys new series are gonna be on this channel all right i'm fucking hyped about it i'm, I'm trying to make the intro we got the footages yes i'm saying we we got the footages and everything because i'm not in my own um we got the footages that we need everything is done i just need to create a, a intro for this all right but I will catch you on the next one. My fiance is like, hey, where are you? I want to see you. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and requesting this. And uh, I will see you next time. Peace. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for watching this awesome video. And I quickly want to let you know, before you go, click on the left video where it says previous. That will bring you to my previous funny moments video. And if you click on the right, that will take you to the latest requested video if you did enjoy the content go ahead and smack that like button comment down below if you have a request or anything else with that said i'll get you on next one peace